another day, another dollar with Jermaine. Already in the city, having some oatmeal, and I got a cup of tea here. And don't have anything planned for today. I'm crossing my fingers that I can accept a few jobs on TaskRabbit because, you know, it's getting towards the weekend, and towards the weekend, definitely more jobs pop up on TaskRabbit. I think it has something to do with when people get paid, like people get paid towards the end of the week. TaskRabbit's busy towards the end of the week. Usually the beginning of the week is pretty dang slow. Still at WeWork, right now I'm building an Amazon store. So every now and then I, I hear people though ask me, Jermaine, where did you get this bike from? Or um, what kind of camera do you use? Or what kind of front rack is on your bike? So what I did was I put together an Amazon store. The link will definitely be in the description below. And in this store, I'm gonna call it what? The Sharing Economy Shop. In this store, I'm gonna list a whole bunch of things for rideshow drivers, as well as food delivery carriers, as well as YouTube creators. I will list all sorts of links on this Amazon page, so you can just go here and check out a lot of the products that I use, and also similar products that could possibly help you guys out. But yeah, links will be in the description below. Go and check out my Amazon store. I think you guys will really love it. up with caviar right now I want to say only like two or three requests came in maybe it's still early it is before 10 30 the thing is 10 30 the 50% bonuses start from 10 30 to 11 but from 10 a.m. through 10 30 a.m. I believe it's 35% bonus so I'm kind of missing out on the 35% bonus but so what maybe I can get a 50% bonus instead maybe that 50% bonus can be easier I don't know. Still got a full charge on the bike battery because I just let my um, battery pack charge up at WeWork for a couple hours since I showed up to WeWork super early this morning. And I guess I'm just gonna hang out on the Embarcadero for a little bit until I can accept the request. This is like the best place in the city to accept a Uber Eats request or pretty much any request. It's right by the financial district. Plenty of people around, plenty of hungry people around, especially now. It's lunchtime, fool. Just accepted the first request, and the pickup is not in downtown. It's like in Hayes Valley, and the drop off location is in like Haight Ashbury. But the whole route is pretty much bike friendly, so I'm gonna go pick up this one and drop it off. Hopefully, I can pick up something from Haight Ashbury and bring it all the way back downtown because that would be a really, really easy drop off all downhill. Just knocked out another delivery. That one was a little weird. The customer wanted me to leave the food in the lobby underneath the mailbox. I don't know. Off to the next one. This next one is not that far away and it's going all the way downtown. Just picked up this caviar delivery. We can almost call it a caviar disaster. So I get there and I thought the order was six items. It was actually eight items and three of those items were smoothies. So I'm like, crap, what am I gonna do? So right as, right as I'm walking out of the restaurant with my food bag completely stuffed full of food, I saw this uh, milk crate sitting on the side of the street, like right here, like one of these. So I just got really creative and I put the drinks in the bottom right here. And I just put the food on top. And I think it's working out, it's working out pretty well. And dude, this is one of the longest deliveries I've had on caviar so far. This one is in Pack Heights and it's going all the way to Financial District. Nothing like cycling through an empty tunnel, right? Check it out. It's Broadway Tunnel. Just made it to the drop-off location and I did not spill one drink. I can't believe it. I went up three crazy hills. Just dropped that order off and I've already accepted another order. The next order I just accepted, it's not too far away. It's from a pretty popular place. I go there quite often to pick up orders, not to eat. And the drop-off location is not that far from WeWork. So I'm gonna get ready to do that delivery because my phone battery now is on 18%. And I didn't bring an external charger. I left it back at WeWork in my backpack. So I'm gonna have to go back and charge my phone. But that's okay because the good bonuses are over with on Caviar now. Um, I don't think there's any bonuses anymore, so uh, yep, it's about time for me to 
he's uh huh, I guess I don't need this crate anymore I said I was gonna do one more delivery I finished that delivery and then I picked up another pickup I cut my phone on airplane mode so I would save battery I'm about to drop this one off in about two seconds back at we work now and today I'm gonna do something a little bit different with you guys um, right now the time is 12.57 and I just got back and remember I left right at 10 and I didn't accept the first delivery until I don't know I want to say like 10.20 well today I actually share with you guys how much I made and I also will share with you guys like the time the distance well not really the distance I don't know the distance but all the time I spent now I told you guys I would let you guys know how long I worked and how much I worked. So yeah, stay tuned. This is the part that everyone loves. So as you guys know, I went out around what, 10, 17, but I believe I accepted the first delivery around 10.30 and I was back at WeWork three minutes before one. So let's just say two and a half hours I was out. So if within two and a half hours, I made $53. Now, on DoorDash, they're giving out $20 an hour guarantee if you work from 11 a.m. through 1 a.m. Now, if I was on DoorDash this morning, I'm just going to keep it real. If I was on DoorDash this morning, I probably would have worked just those two hours. But thinking about it, I could actually work one hour with Caviar and then work those two hours with DoorDash and make bank that way. On DoorDash, they're giving out that $20 an hour bonus, which is not bad. I mean, on Caviar... Um, you know, I worked two and a half hours, I got 53 bucks. On DoorDash, if I would have worked two and a half hours, I'd probably get about the same amount of money. So it, I'm not really complaining, but I'm just testing it out. The lunch rush is pretty dang good. You can go out and make some quick cash during lunch. Um, I believe Caviar and DoorDash are a little bit better than Postmates because Postmates, you have to do so many deliveries and then you get a bonus. But on DoorDash, you can just get an hourly guarantee, which is a little bit better than a bonus because bonuses, you usually have to do a lot of things to achieve the bonus. On an hourly guarantee, you just usually have to accept X amount of requests and be online during certain hours and have a decent acceptance rating, right? Yeah, that's what you gotta do on food delivery apps. I've been in WeWork editing videos quite a long time today. Finally out, just leaving, about to leave Target. I just picked up a few things for the house and I'm gonna go check out really fast, grab the bike, go back over to Oakland, chill at the house, see what's going on, you know. It's been a minute since I vlogged last, but since then I've been back to the house, met up with Vanessa. We made a quick stop down to Ruby's Diner we both had hot wings. I had deep fried tofu vegan hot wings. Vanessa had um, what uh, chicken hot wings. We both had french fries. It was a lot of fun. And now I'm back at the house and I sort of got a headache. Um, earlier at WeWork, I had this like ice coffee thing. And it, it was like really sweet. And it was the type of sweetness where I just took one sip. When I took one sip, I just like instantly got a headache and I've had like a slight headache since I don't know like 1 p.m. or something like that so I can't wait to lay down I've been drinking water like crazy and I think I'm about to lay down because my head hurts and I don't know tomorrow's gonna be another adventure I got nothing planned on Test Rabbit tomorrow I got two jobs lined up on the weekend on Test Rabbit and oh man what's up with Test Rabbit man Test Rabbit's been slow I've been Loving Test Rabbit, but now it's like coming to a screeching halt. Alright, later. Good night. Peace.